This weekend post, mimicking Lightroom's landscape profile in On One Photo Raw. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport and welcome to In Post. Thanks for joining me today. This is the first time you're checking out one of my videos. Thanks for giving me a shot. Hope you like what you see and you'll subscribe to the channel. Well, today it's a question and answer. So Chris asked a question about um, moving in a sense from Lightroom to On One Photo. And in Lightroom, he likes the landscape camera profile and how can we simulate that or mimic it in On One Photo Raw. Well, I'll show you at least um, a starting point for how to do that. And it's really kind of eyeballing things. But I do know that Photo Raw, they are working on adding camera profiles. And if you haven't already and you want this feature, go over to the Photo Raw project, search for camera profiles, and add your vote. That's how that's how On One operates. You, you know, they listen to the user base and they say, we want these features. And then they work on them for the next version. So let's take a look at what we got here. So I've got a, a bunch of different photos here in, um, in the browse module. And so what I have is these JPEGs, this one and this one. These I exported from Lightroom. I brought those into Lightroom, the raw file, chose the camera profile, landscape, and then exported the photo. So I have something that we can look at. And so let's start with um, these two here. I chose two different landscape scenes to see if we can get something that's similar for, for both of them. Let's look at the compare view here. So this one here is out of Lightroom, and this one is the raw file. And so looking at these, the contrast is certainly higher. These, these shadows are certainly deeper, like on the tree here and here, with the little cursor guy on there, there we go. The colors are a little more prominent in the yellows and the greens. And um, there's more detail in the, well, in this case, the mountain face. This is in Yosemite. So, you know, one of these gigantic granite walls there. So generally we're looking at, we've got an increase in contrast, maybe a little bit of a color boost, and that, you know, those, those bluish gray tones and uh, deeper shadows. So let's see about simulating that in Photo Raw. So let's go back to our grid view and I'll select, I've made a version of the photo so we can just go into develop and try out a couple of things here. So um, the first thing we'll do, let's start with, with contrast. That was, that was very clearly something that was richer with that landscape profile from Lightroom. I'll take the contrast slider and just start moving that up. And I'm really kind of watching two things for this scene. The detail that's in that rock face in the background, and then how prominent these shadows come. Because contrast is going to increase the deltas between darks and lights and exaggerate those more. So we expect our darker areas to get a little darker, brighter areas to get brighter, and then things around edges become sharper. So that's, that's reasonably close. Uh, I do want to make the shadows a little bit deeper. So let's try our shadows slider and we'll take that down. Ooh, not much. That's a tiny amount. No, negative five. Okay, well, the number is not important. It's the look on the photo. And again, we're just eyeballing this. We're going to see how, how this works out. Uh, for color, let's, um, let's do this with vibrance. Now, I'm specifically avoiding things like the white balance and you know, adjusting any of the, the fundamental exposure of the image because the camera profiles in Lightroom don't change any of those sliders. They just apply something, you know, underneath. So I'm trying to simulate that here. So you'd still have the liberty to go and adjust exposure and, and so on and so forth. But if you're looking for something quick, we can, we can work with what we have. Um, so that's actually better. So we've got a little more of those colors coming through here. I do still want to see about some, some additional, like this is a, this is a bluish gray cast. And so let's, um, let's go ahead and add a color adjustment and look at the blue channel and maybe just increase saturation on that a little bit. That actually ends up being, you know, quite a bit, actually, let's turn that before and after. Okay, so we can see that change in tone here in the, in the rocks. So this is before and this is after. All right, um, let's go back to browse and we'll take a look at these side by side, the Lightroom one and what we've just styled in Photo Raw. So we'll go back to browse. There's our version. That's our Lightroom one. We'll go to the compare mode. We'll take a look. So this is Lightroom and this is the photo raw adjustments. So it looks like that blue cast I put on there was probably a little bit too much for this particular scene. We'll go ahead and back that off. Go back over into develop, 
we have this one here. We'll scroll down. We'll just disable that color adjustment because that's the only thing we did in there. And then we'll go back into browse. And now we'll take a look. So a lot closer. If anything, for this particular scene, might tone down the blues a little bit. Uh, and well, that's what happens when we do profiles or any type of preset, right? You apply it and then you do little bits of tweaks. Uh, I want to try this on one more photo, different type of landscape scene, and see if the similar results will work. So let's do this. We'll go into back into develop for just a moment. I'll make a quick note of what we got here. Contrast 25, shadows negative 5, vibrance 10, everything else we didn't touch, and maybe color adjustment. So film strip, and let's bring up uh, my version of the raw file for this seascape. All right, full screen view. And so we said contrast, 25, shadows, negative five, and vibrance, 10. All right, so before those changes, oops, I gotta click outside of there, get that deselected, there we go. Before the changes and after. So richer colors, a little more detail in the ocean there. What I'm curious about is the blues. That was one thing I started to adjust in the other one. Didn't really work out for the mountain scene. Let's go back to browse. We have the JPEG, we have compare view. So this is a raw file and this is out of Lightroom. And they're pretty darn close. This one might be good to have a little bit of extra uh, blues in there and maybe not as much as the previous one. So we'll pop back over to develop. Add that color adjustment, blue channel, and I think we'd gone up to 20, but I think I'll, this one I'll, I'll keep it around 10. Back over to browse. Let's take a look here. A little closer. Now there's certainly going to be nuances and differences. You know, ultimately the math, the algorithms that are under the covers between any software is going to be different. It's going to treat your photo a little differently. But we can get pretty darn close with just a handful of sliders. Well, the tip of the week is, yes, you can mimic just about any look in one package that you can get from another. There will be differences. Uh, you might have to work harder for it depending on the different packages. Like, for example, uh, dynamic contrast in On One Photo Raw. You have to work harder to, to simulate that in, say, Lightroom. They're just very different algorithms. Uh, but to sum up what we saw here, uh, Chris, this is really targeted for you. I think we're going to do contrast at 25, shadows at negative 5, vibrance at plus 10. And from there, you've got a pretty solid baseline to work from and you know, continue styling your image. Hope this helps you out. That will do it for this week's InPost. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, let me know somehow. If you've got questions about photography, ask me those too. You can ask in the comments below, or if you want to keep it uh, private, you can send me an email through my website on the contact form over my webpage. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport, and happy shooting.